All right. So as far as the actual agent itself goes, the checklist bot is uh, you should think of it as just you have a couple of things which just keep repeating every time for each uh, item on the checklist. So you can see that from just the pattern that you notice here in the list of intents. So let's remove this. I mean, ignore this fallback and welcome for a minute. Then what you see is that this intent dot no is where the user says no when the bot asks them if they know what an intent is. Intent dot yes is where they say yes when the bot asks them what an intent is. And then you just see that it's repeating like uh, three more times. So there is the entity dot yes, entity dot no, context dot yes, context dot no, webhook dot yes, and webhook dot no. So those are intents which correspond to the user saying yes or no to the appropriate question. And just to take a quick look at what the uh, format of the response itself looks like, you just uh, take a look at this default welcome intent for a second. And uh, what you notice is that in the default welcome intent, we are going to have await underscore intent, which is the first question on the checklist, if you remember. Await underscore intent is going to be set as the output context. So you can see that await intent is the output context. And then the uh, phrases are, of course, where the user says hi. And then in the response tab, if you go onto the Google Assistant section, it's going to say, do you know what a dialog for intent is? And then you have the suggestion chips for yes and no. And the pattern effectively is going to be repeated, in fact. Now, if you were to go into this uh, intent.yes, the intent called intent.yes, again, you will see that it's going to be something similar where the await underscore intent is going to be set as the input context. And because the user said yes, we are going to move on to the next question, which is going to be about the entity. So await underscore entity will be the output context. And then in the response itself, it's just going to say, do you know what a dialog flow entity is? And then it's going to give you those two options of yes and no. So let's take a look here. Await underscore intent is the input context. Await underscore entity is the output context. The training phrase is just a simple yes. And again, this is coming from the user clicking on the button. And then Google Assistant response is going to say, do you know what a dialog flow entity is? And suggestion chips, yes and no. And if the user were to say no for the very first case, let's go here, what you would expect is await intent has to be the input context on this intent. And the training phrase will be a no. And because we are going to just give them a response and not ask them anything else after this, you shouldn't have any output context set on this particular intent. Also, the in the responses section, as you remember, we have to show a hyperlink. So what we do is we have a simple response inside the Google Assistant response tab. And then we use the link out suggestion rich response type so you can take a look here. What you have here is basically await underscore intent is the input context. And then in the Google Assistant, you're going to have the dialog for building block stores can help you understand how intents work. And then in the link out suggestion response type, I'm going to say check out the rest course is going to be the anchor text. And then this is the actual hyperlink to the course. Now, I'm going to leave it to you to design all the other intents because they're going to follow the same pattern. You just have to ensure that you are going to be following this uh, template somewhat consistently and do the same for you know, uh, entity.yes and no, context.yes and no, and webhook.yes and no. And if the user were to reach webhook.yes, uh, obviously they have said yes to everything. And that means you have to just tell them that congratulations, you have mastered the basics. And if they say no somewhere in the middle, it's going to show them uh, a link to the course. So that's what the intent design looks like for the checklist bot.